Hey, what is going on guys? Lethal Flux here and today I'm finally bringing you an updated Bujin um, deck profile. This is post Primal Origins, so this build is a lot faster and unfortunately a lot more expensive. <laughs> um, this is not the control build that you guys have probably been seeing on YouTube with um, other people's deck profiles. This is not control, this is made to go into Susanoo and um, Kagetsuchi as fast as you possibly can and to just have all your protection in the grave as fast as you possibly can. So, without any further ado, let's get into the deck profile. Of course, you still run 3 Yamato. It's still the best card in the deck. Don't say otherwise. You sound kind of stupid. If you don't think Yamato is the best card in the deck, this is the card that gets everything going. He's what gives you your protection, and he's an awesome card. Now, the next card just came out of Primal Origin is Bujin Hirume. Really good. Can banish a Bujin um, monster from your graveyard to special summon itself. This makes your Bujin Carnations live which you will see later on in the spell count that I have bumped Bujin Carnation up. The number you will see, but yeah. Um, also a pretty good secondary effect. When it's destroyed, you discard one card from your hand, and your opponent discards one from their hand. So pretty good. You load their graveyard with a minus. So yeah. And in synergy with Bujin Hirume, you got Bujin Arasura. I now run him at two because he gets his effect when you, special, or when you banish for Hirume. So... Um, it's really good. You got a lot of synergy going on, and you like again. Um, you can make uh, Susanoo and Kagetsuchi really easily in this deck, and that's the main point of this deck now is to make Susanoo search dump, or to make Kagetsuchi have an amazing field. So yeah, for the last Beast Warrior, Bujin Mikazuchi. This guy I usually keep in my hand now, unless I really need to search out Bujin Carnation. Um, it's really good for protection if they just happen to get get over a Kagetsuchi or. If you have Yamato on the field and you need to, you know, keep your people protected, then you got Mikazuchi to do that job for you. We did cut the bear, but like I said, this is deck is made to make Susanoo and Kakatsuchi really fast. For the relics, yep, I still run three crane. A lot of people have cut it down to two. I don't know why. Why would you not want three pretty much honest in your deck? Let me zoom this in a little bit. This card is just amazing. It makes your Bujin Beast Warrior type monsters become the um, original attack, double the original attack. So it's really good. That's that. And for the next relics, you got Bujin E Turtle. Um, keep in mind that this works on your non Beast Warrior type Bujin monsters as well. So you can protect hair with this, you can protect centipede, you can protect quillin, you can protect crane if you want to. <laughs> um, a lot of people didn't know that, and you can use it um, multiple times per turn. So, yeah, targeting of any kind, negate it. Um, Bujingi hair negates destruction, really, really awesome, with uh, morale attack and um, fire hand, no, fire, turtles for fire hand, with um, morale attack coming out, scratch the fire hand idea, because you can't use hair in the damage step, but... Yeah, hair is still really good. Don't pump it down to one or two or anything. After that, you got one centipede and one quill. I'm probably going to cut centipede for another trap. Probably solemn morning because I don't run solemn morning. Um, I probably should, but yeah. One centipede, one quill is fine. I always keep the quill just because colossal fighter is a pain in the ass. Um, and you Bujin players know that colossal fighter is kind of annoying. <laughs> for the uh, hand traps... Two maxi and one honest. These cards need no explanation. I replaced the maxis. Um, I replaced the Valors with the maxis because I feel like maxi is more relevant in this format. Uh, Valor is good, but I feel like maxi is better. This format, anyway. Moving on to the spells. Let's start it off with Triple Bouge Incarnation. Yes, Triple Bouge Incarnation. This card is amazing. Um, it's really easy to exhaust your opponent's resources and keep these in hand for um, everything that you have banished with Bujin Hirume. Um, and you can use these more than once per turn. So if your opponent warnings this, you can use it again. If they happen to a bottomless or a torrential, you can use it again. And if they have an answer for that one, you can just use the third one. This card is nuts, and I, I feel like it should be run at three, definitely this format, or forever in Bujins. It should definitely be run at three. If you guys don't like it, just give it a chance, try it out, um, and I'm sure you'll love it. Of course, why would we cut tanky? We've still got three tanky. Card's really good. Lots of plus. No explanation. And for the one of's one book of moon and one soul charge. Um, soul charge is just needed, guys. It it just is. 
Uh, if you're not playing Soul Charge, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> you need to play at least one Soul Charge. It, this card's just really good. For the traps, double breakthrough skill. This card's awesome in this format. Double dimensional prison. This card's also amazing in this format against the hands because everybody and their fucking mothers is siding or main decking those hands. And this gets rid of that problem. Two traps then. Really good card. I want to make my pushes. <laughs> anyway. Two traps done. Um, really good card. Um, I still main or I still side deck the Royal Degrees, but traps done is awesome. <clears throat> good for making those pushes. Two vanities emptiness for even more lockdown because we don't want our opponent to be doing anything. <laughs> and for the one of us, one sword and one bottomless trap hole. I still like the sword. Thinking about cutting it, but I I do still like it. Let's get into the extra deck. We still do run two Susanoo. I haven't felt the need to bump it up to three. So yeah, that's that. After that, one Kagetsuchi in the mirror match. This card is nuts. Um, it's really hard for them to get over this in the mirror match. And <laughs> it's it's just really annoying. So if you have the opportunity to make this in the mirror match, go ahead and make this and watch your opponent try to get over this. It's hilarious. Unless they have a... No, even Deep Prison wouldn't help because you could just have Turtle and Crave. Yeah, in the mirror match, that card is amazing. I highly recommend going into that one. Tsukiyomi, this card really is really amazing. I underestimated this card, and then when I put it in and and used it, um, it it's just amazing. It helps you plus so much. Um, Amaterasu, I, I've yet to go into it, and I'm even thinking about cutting it um, because it, it doesn't need, you know, it just doesn't need Amaterasu. In certain situations, it's yeah, it, it's good, but um, I don't know. I love the card, but I don't know if I'm going to continue playing it. And for the next part, which may be kind of interesting to some of you guys, I actually decided to play two Silent Honor arcs. My teammate suggested this because it's always nice to have two if one gets warning or something. And I have the um, fortunate event to come across two. So I'm, I'm playing two, and it's working out really well. I like it a lot. After that, one May Stroke, probably going to get cut for um, Abyss Dweller when I get one. <laughs> Heartland Draco, this card's really amazing against the hands, because you don't have to attack into the hands, and if you have Tanky on the field, they can't target it for an attack, so they can't crash into it with their hands, um, and it attacks directly. It's it's just a really good card. You still got the one Cowboy, one Paladinamo. This card comes in handy a lot, actually. One Ragna Zero, Constellar Omega. Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Tiger King. This card's really good for when you need to negate effects like Zen Mains and stuff. And one Direwolf. Self-explanatory. Let's move on to the side deck. Pretty interesting side deck. Um, probably basic in a lot of decks this format. So, yeah. We go Double Veiler, since we don't main them anymore. They are still needed. Um, I don't like that they're needed, but unfortunately they are needed. <laughs> and let's get on to the interesting part. Two Fire Hand and two Ice Hand. Guys, if you aren't siding these, you definitely should be. If you're thinking, oh, it doesn't work well in my deck, it does. Guys, you need to side these because they get rid of problematic cards that that are a problem, <laughs> essentially. And um, in Bougians, there's not a lot of people are going to be expecting Fire and Ice Hand in Bougian. Once again, shout out to Alexander Thomas for helping me... Um, decide to put these in my side deck it's been working out amazingly and i would never go back unless they get banned which i highly doubt <laughs> i love the fire and ice hands they're great double kaiser coliseum for those pesky Giria matches or you know anything else um two mst the best side deck card in the game in my opinion right now is debunk uh definitely running it too for the hands for the mirror match for water for a lot of things Double Royal Decree, um, this is just to have prolonged um, trap lockdown throughout the game uh, during game two and game three. Uh, I really like it. And we still do side deck of full house because in the Bujan deck is really good because you have Tanky. Well, anyway guys, that was the Bujan deck profile. Thank you so much for watching and I really do appreciate everything you guys have done and stuck with me. I'm now at 662 subscribers. If I get to 1,000, um, I'm going to be doing some type of huge giveaway. I don't know what it's going to be yet. Probably going to be a box of the newest set, but if you do stick with me that long, um, 
then I'll be doing a giveaway. And there's a few subscribers that I have in mind um, that have been with me here through the beginning. And it's been really awesome that you guys have stuck around, even though I went two months without uploading a video. So um, thank you so much, guys, for watching. Be sure to like the video. And if you really liked it, maybe even give it a share. And um, comment on it. Let me know what you think. And let me know if you have any other ideas for Bougians. I would love to hear them because I love Bougians. So thanks again for watching, guys. And uh, take it easy.